Hello friends and welcome to the third part of the detailed act wise summary of Oscar Wilde's play The Importance of Being Earnest. In my earlier two lectures on the first and the second part of this act wise summary of the same play I had mentioned <coughs> about the conversation that took place between Jack and Gwendolyn Lady Bracknell and Jack and many more things between Algernon and Jack in at Algernon's Half Moon Street flat in London Today I'll be talking about the remaining portion that is the act 2 scene 1 and later on in my today's lecture now after we see that when jack and algernon here uh, who's known to be ernest here has come face to face with each other they exchange some unpleasant looks Now Cecily she urges Jack to shake hands with Elgi whom Cecily takes as earnest but Jack refuses now um, talking about a little before that we had done in the last class i would say or um, remind you something where we see that Algernon had come to Jack's place to meet Cecily which jack does not like and algernon here is perceived by cecily as earnest who is jack's brother now since as we come to know later on Cecily is also fascinated by the name Ernest and she also falls in love with the same name we see that she is very friendly with Algi whom she takes as Ernest now since Jack refuses to shake hands with uh, Algernon Cecily gives him an excuse that Ernest or algi is a very nice person and uh, he must have some goodness in him at least because he takes care of an invalid brother called banbury now jack reluctantly he shakes hands with uh, algernon algernon and now jack and algi they are left all to themselves in the room as everyone else has left Now at this point Merriman uh, he announces that he's put Elgi in the room that is next to Jack's now Jack feels quite disgusted he orders a dog cart and uh, leaves the town leaves for the town as uh, he gives the excuse of Ernest being called there and he also wishes jack uh, also wishes that uh, elgi should uh, also leave but elgi expresses an interest in cecily now in between through the conversation of uh, cecily and uh, algernon we also come to know of the major theme of the play when she tells elgi that i hope you've not been leading in quotes i am not i hope you've not been leading a double life pretending to be wicked and being really good all the time that would be hypocrisy uncourt now of course we say it's the other way round too wilde's claim is that uh, in the victorian society everyone wears some kind of a social mask while his happens to revolve around his uh, 
sexual orientation and others in the games of deception which are also no less hypocritical now coming over to act to scene 2 we see that uh, sicily she enters the garden to water the flowers and elgonon tells her that jack has ordered her to leave ordered him to leave sir now merimin announces of the dog cart that has been waiting for aldi but uh, sicily says that it can wait algernon also compliments sicily to her delight and out of happiness he also tells merimin who's uh, come again to remind of the waiting dog cart that the dog cart can come back next week he asks uh, sicily to marry him and she points out that they've been engaged since last 3 months and um, she also claims that ever since uh, she's heard of uh, jack's wicked brother ernest she has always loved him she also shocks algernon uh, she also shows algernon other uh, the box of letters that he wrote to her which uh, actually she has written to herself and uh, sicily she also admits uh, her fascination for the er- name ernest and that she loves him because of his name and even doubts whether she would be able to love him were his name um, were algernon she say he says that he wishes to see dr chasuble for being questioning and um, in quotes as he says i mean on important businesses and then he leaves from there more about the act by summary in detail of oscar wilde's the importance of being earnest i'll be talking about in the next lecture of mine till then goodbye and thank you friends